Can you see me? In the bedroom, they put the drywall to sheet rock that stuff up. It looks awesome. It looks, awesome. It looks awesome. But today's video is not about that. It's about some behind the scenes stuff, how we film some of our videos. And how Cole edits. And how I do some editing. And this video is sponsored by Squarespace. We'll talk about them a little bit later on in the video. But if you want to learn how we do some of the stuff we do and about some of our equipment, hang around. Yes, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, this is gonna be a very fun video, I think. We are gonna break down all of this stuff that we have. Yes. We're in a construction zone <laughs> once again, but we have our little Taz cam right here. Probably got really loud, so I'm not gonna talk as loud, and hopefully that works. Hopefully, if we not, shall see. We're sorry. <laughs> yeah, very sorry. This is what happens when you live live in a construction zone yeah um no but we wanted to do this video because a lot of people have been asking us about our setup and then how cool edits how cool films mm -hmm. all of our equipment and also i've seen a lot of youtubers uh like show off all of their different like materials and equipment and in the beginning i was thinking why do these people have all this different stuff mm -hmm. and i kind of get it now and so we kind of wanted to share why we now have a bunch of different stuff too yes we're also just really into it all of this also so yes it's our career it truly is our career mm -hmm. and like everyone else you invest time and effort into your career so this is us investing into our career yes where should we start let's start with the first camera we've ever had that's a good idea the canon g7x mark yes. two this is where it all began actually it all began on your phone really it did all begin on my phone number one thing about vlogging you don't look at your face you look at the camera because it makes it feel like you're really connecting with your audience. I want to connect with myself. He just doesn't get it. Oh, <laughs> but we realized very quickly we needed a real camera, so we did a little research well, and we started with the G7X. Yeah, oh, besides the phone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were saying this G7X no. was a real camera. I was like, no, this is a real camera. <laughs> this was a little powerhouse for us for a good while. Yeah. Um, why did we move on from this camera? Do you remember? For some reason, we had a hard time getting the color right. Audio. Oh, that's audio, what it was. That's what it was. The audio was really bad because you don't have an external mic yeah. port, so you can't connect an external mic to this so it was just the camera audio all right so i don't have any core control so okay. once i'm in this chair i need you to stay on my shoulders to make sure i don't fall to the side no, I would, I would no. that was why we got the canon right and we learned how um, important audio was very quickly <laughs> and how hard audio is mm -hmm. i had no idea it's really really challenging audio is 50 percent of the experience when you're watching videos and there's a cool little test if you're watching a video that has very poor video quality but very nice audio sound it's much easier on the washer yeah now if you're watching a video with very high quality but very poor sound like this right here it's a much worse experience so that's why sound is super important yes oh it's the worst feeling when you get an awesome clip and then there's no audio mm -hmm. like remember that time in dc Oh, really I'm still bad. sad about that sometimes. <laughs> I know. We Well, that's because I didn't put the mic all the way on. Well, we put in the wrong input. Yes, we put in the wrong input, which yeah. is fault of the device that we have because it should work regardless. That's true. We have a faulty mic, yeah. so it wasn't even your fault. No. We just got screwed. <laughs> but that happens sometimes in filming. You it just does. get screwed. Yeah. Upgraded from the Canon and mm -hmm. moved on to, and I don't remember exactly what kind of Canon. It was the EO. Oh, the it's 70D. 80D. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It was the Canon 80D. That was our second camera that we got. That one was the one that did not have slow mo. We did not like that it didn't have slow mo. Mm -hmm. But the video quality was amazing. Audio was amazing. We can mm -hmm. put an external mic on it, which was amazing. And we've been through quite a growing stage with mm -hmm. our audio stuff. And mm -hmm. finally, we moved on to a new camera, which is a Sony camera. Yeah. The A7 III. 
which is filming this right now. Yes. And we found a, a sound system that works great, and that's mm -hmm. the Sony mic adapter that attaches right on top. So yes. we are kind of Sony people at this point. Looking around, I yeah. see how Sony we are. We, ha we have all Sony. Sony's mm -hmm. really good with video. Pictures, Canon's amazing. We don't really take photography like that, and when we do take pictures mm -hmm. for our Instagram, it's all on. Our phones. Yeah, pretty much. Both of our phones. Right, Google right. and Apple. We don't really care about <laughs> brands, really. Yeah, you do. You're a brand person with clothes with you are. Clo eh, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> like Nike, you love your Nike. Yeah, well, oh, I just can't wear Nikes and Adidas and Reeboks, like, in the same outfit. I yes. gotta... <laughs> this is, now I'm sounding ridiculous. We no longer have the Canon because we sold it to Cruz so he can use it for his videos and now he has like all the camera equipment that he needs. He's got some good setup He too. does have a really good setup. And when it comes to purchasing all of this, you know, we always try to find deals. We get bundle packages so it comes yeah. with multiple stuff. Cameras are really expensive and the camera that's filming now is the one camera that we invested the most in because it's yeah, our absolutely. main camera. Yeah, and it's kind of like our final end product. Yeah. So let's break down some of these lenses. This is the reason we have a bunch of different lenses. We'll show you all. What's filming us right now is a 50 millimeter lens. Yes. And it has no zoom feature, no. so it just stays in one spot. It's really far away from us, the believe it or not. Yeah, the camera is really far away. One of the things that's really nice about the 50 is that it gives you this really portrait looking, mm -hmm. soft focus effect in the background. Yeah, I don't know how soft focus it is right now just because we're not that yeah. close to the camera and our mm -hmm. background isn't that far away from us, but it's much easier when it's one person in the camera, I think. Right. All right, so this lens here. So this is a Sigma and it's a 18 to 35 zoom lens then we got the 24 to 70 gives us a little more versatility a little more range yes so this has been our power horse for a long time she can really whip that camera in and out get yeah. some cool action shots and stuff I love that little, um, I love this lens. It's, yeah. a, it's a really, really good lens. It's like a great all-purpose kind of lens. Mm -hmm. Now, we should probably get into like the little assistive devices we've gotten. Wait, we didn't talk about our what? last camera. We have another camera? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Of course, how could I have forgotten? <laughs> yes, you guys know about this camera because yeah. we've been using it a lot lately. And it's so much easier to vlog with this camera. So when we're on trips really and is. I'm trying to film myself, mm -hmm. this is the camera. And being smaller, it's easier to stabilize. Yes. You can also flip the screen around yep. so you can actually see yourself and what you're filming. And you can film with this. You filmed mm -hmm. me doing my hair with this little mm -hmm. camera. Mm -hmm. We just mounted it to the tripod, which we'll show you. Are you filming me? I'm filming you. This is cool. That you you wrapped it on my hand perfectly. Look, y'all. This is what it looks like. Charisma got this on my hand somehow, and now I can shoot around. Do, 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 do. Hello. And uh -huh. this comes with, with an internal mic and a little fluff ball that you can put on top of it, a dead rabbit to make the volume better. So we love this little camera. It's yeah. So great. It's nice. All right, now assistive devices. Yes. All right. So first, tell them about the neutral density filter. Neutral density. Oh, this is Cole's favorite. The neutral oh, yeah. density filter. Mm -hmm. So it's Peter McKinnon, who Cole loves. Peter, do you want to do a video together? <laughs> we need help with our studio. Please, if any of you know Peter McKinnon, can you connect us? <laughs> I'm serious. He is big into videography yes. and photography, and we've learned so much from yeah. him in Almost his all videos. My editing, yeah. So this is his neutral density filter that he yes. worked with Polar Pro to create. If you're ever filming outside, this is really crucial. Oh my gosh, we yeah. we didn't do it for the longest time just because we figured it was like some next level complicated, you know, difficult thing. Mm -hmm. But this filter makes it really easy because it's variable and you can actually just spin it just like you zoom a camera in and out. You can spin this uh, filter and depending on how much light you need to block coming in, it makes a big difference. Yeah, shoulder mount. Oh yeah. So this little guy is really great for me when I'm trying to get people walking and in the hospital. It was much easier to set the camera on here, much more stabilized and and Cole can use it, which we like. Right. So throw that on my shoulder, get it on my hand here, and then I can film some too. Yeah. Which is which is great because I feel like Charisma is always struggling with the camera. So whenever <laughs> I can jump in and help out, I like doing that. Something really cool that I learned um, when it comes to stabilization, and you don't have a tripod or anything, you just have the mm -hmm. camera in you. It is great to have three points of contact. So you put it around your neck. You pull it as tight as you possibly can, yep. tuck your elbows. So like I kind of tuck it like on my ribs, kind of under my boobs because I have that up, you know, mm -hmm. that I can do that. <laughs> so yeah. I tuck it there and then you film 
Yeah. Just like that. So you use your... One, two, three. Yeah. A lot of people film like this. And you don't have like... Yeah. It's not stable because it's so loose. There's no top to it. That was also Peter McKinnon Tim too. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Peter. You're helping us become YouTubers. Thank you. I know. Um, all right. Yeah, so we just, I don't know, we love all of our camera equipment, and we know it's mm -hmm. a lot and everything, but like I said earlier, like we're investing in our career, and... And we treat this stuff like gold. Yeah, like our and children. We have really had the mentality from the start that this was our business. Yes. So when we started earning, yeah. we started investing in ourselves and in our business. Yep. And we think that we've been able to do a lot more and have a lot higher quality product because we've been able to invest in all this kind of stuff. Yes, and not only that, we're able to use these skills elsewhere. So we worked with Sheltering Arms and mm -hmm. produced videos for them. We're using these skills that, we're lear that we've learned to do other things and we enjoy filming mm -hmm. and editing and all of yeah. it it's yeah. fun and people ask us like you know when youtube dies what are we gonna do we're gonna continue being creative we're gonna we have all yes. the tools and all the skills now well not all the skills we have a lot to learn yes. but we have enough tools to yeah really really be creative and continue creating stuff absolutely speaking of creating let's show them how we do some editing Ooh, let's, let's do that do a little whip <laughs> so can you tell us about how you edit yes let's do it this is my editing zone. Let me show you, crib style. Oh gosh, well come on, show me. Let's go. Well, you're in my way, dude. I can't what? roll I can't roll through you. Uh, oh, there you go, uh, look around, seriously. Uh, oh, I can push you. Okay. Can I get around? Yes. Can you show us how you edit? Yes, but I always have my iPad. My iPad's dead right now, so I'm gonna plug it in. Sometimes I can do it very quickly, other times it takes me a long time. Let's see how we do today. Do gotta bring it to the edge. Oh. I'm spazzing. Ugh, stop spazzing. Okay. Mm. Try number one is a fail. Okay. Sorry, it's good. Oh, I missed. I went underneath. <laughs> <gasps> Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so this is not going well at all. In fact, um, this is about as bad as it could possibly <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did it! Yes! Yeah. Yes! All on my own. That was great. Alright, anyway, so <laughs> here's the real process. So we go out, we do all our filming like we did today, and then we gotta pop our SD card into the back of the computer, and I gotta get all the footage and dump it onto the computer. We have our, our trusty finder. So in our finder, you can see I have our our different folders for different things. This is where I keep all of our footage. So this is stuff I use all the time. This is the stuff I use occasionally, like different sound effects, which is a lot of just me going tss, tss, just a bunch of random sound effects. I literally recorded at the computer and put them in the video. <laughs> and then we also have our videos as well. So all the footage from our videos will go into a folder and then I go through it. These are our external hard drives with all the old videos from, from 2019. Look at all this, y'all. Scroll down. This is, this all is our videos. crazy. And I can, I can click on any one of these and you can see all the footage. And um, yeah, I've watched every second of all of this stuff. And that's just 2019. And I filmed <laughs> every second of one of those. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Babe, I'm well really done. hot. I need to turn the air on. All right, we're turning the air on. Now, you can see I have two screens. If y'all recall, when I was up in New York with Charisma and we had like an editing internship, they had two screens and I was like, man, this is just so much better than editing on one screen. I'll pull up Premiere and show you why having two screens is so, so much better. So. Can you tell everyone where you got your second screen? Google! Yes. Google hooked us up. It was gifted to us, so it, yeah. we didn't spend a ton of money on this. I know. We're frugal. We I know. try to spend money wisely. Frugal with Google. <laughs> Alright, so this is Premiere. You can see these are the recent recent projects. Q&A follow-up, first time in our edition. Uh, Quint slow-mo is like a little video I made for, for Quint just because he likes slow-mo videos. Alright, we can check out Q&A follow-up. This is our recent video that I just edited. And boom! So this is what I'm working in. You can see when I zoom out on the timeline, this is where all the work went into the video. You can see all the little things I did, like this little block here is the title graphic, you know? So all this blue stuff is footage. All the blue stuff on the bottom is the audio. The green stuff is my sound effects, you know, my little that kind of stuff. Whenever I want to do something new or add something new 
to the video, I just have to go to, let's, let's add a random picture. So I go into this folder here, I find that there's a JPEG that I want to use. So here's a, a pretty picture of Charisma and me. So say I want that in the video, I bring this down into this right here, bloop. Now this image is available to drop wherever I want in the video. So as you can see, the computers are connected. So when Cole drags something from this computer, it goes to this computer. Yeah, so I can just bring this right over. Yeah. Just like that. Boop, 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 boop. It's cool. All of these boxes you see on my left screen are all attached to Premiere. It's all the same program. It's very intimidating looking um, because it is very intimidating. And when I first started editing, I had no idea what I was doing. In fact, I had like a, I had a, a timeline with nothing in it and I dropped one clip into the timeline and then all this stuff started popping up and I freaked out and I closed it out. I was like, all right, I need to go watch some tutorials. So I watched some Peter McKinnon tutorials. <laughs> I learned a lot since then. I feel a lot better about it. You, what do you use to edit? So I use a lot of shortcuts on my keyboard and I primarily use my middle finger. I'm not flicking y'all off right now. I promise. This is just how I operate. If I ever need to drag something, I just push down, pull it like this, and then I can delete it. And if I'm editing and I want to make a cut, I make sure to just use my, my shortcuts. So I can do that. I can do this to make a little cut. I can go a little further. And now I just took out a section of the video, just like that, and a bunch, and like four or five actions. So I spend hours and hours here just uh, making little cuts, fine tuning it, adding sound effects, pictures, B roll, slow mo, all the good stuff. Do you like editing? I do, I do. The creative process allows for so much freedom, especially when it's just our business on YouTube, that it's just really enjoyable being able to say, oh, you know, I think that'd be a funny idea. Put it together. Sometimes it's not funny at all, but sometimes it works. And then you actually put it in and then other people get to enjoy it too. But I, I must say that I appreciate all the, the comments from people saying they, they enjoy the editing because a lot of the time I feel like I'm just making a bunch of changes that nobody's ever going to see. So mm -hmm. I appreciate when people can see that. Would you do this as a career once YouTube is over? I think so. I think so. In the right context, depending on what I'm editing. If it was a reality TV show, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> awesome. Once again, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Mm -hmm. Like we mentioned sometime last month in a video, we are working on our own personal website. And on our website, you can book us for different speaking engagements, whether it's at a school, the office, a corporate meeting. It's really awesome. Squarespace has a lot of really cool tools for building your website. One of them is how easily you can integrate your social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And so if you post something on your website, it can go straight to Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr. If you have a Tumblr, we don't yet, but maybe we will. <laughs> one day and then also it gives you a lot of insights as to your traffic on your website so mm -hmm. you can see what people are clicking on where they're going on your website and that just allows someone on the back end to figure out all right we need people want more of this they want to hear about more of this mm -hmm. see more of this and uh, that's very helpful for us yes we'll keep you posted on when that website is published um, yep. hopefully in the next two months we're working on this house, so things are a little chaotic right now. <laughs> Once the house but, is done, we'll have so much time. Yes, but it's so easy to make this website using Squarespace. They give you so many awesome tools that mm -hmm. make it very user-friendly. And if you're interested in trying out Squarespace yourself, you can head to their website for a free trial, or you can use squarespace.com slash rollwithcolingcharisma for a 10% discount. Once again, thank you, Squarespace, thank for you. sponsoring creators like us.